morning, guys. We are here for our kickboxing class this morning. Um, all you need is some empty space and yourself. Um, if you have gear, you can use mitts with a partner or you can use a heavy bag. Make sure you have gloves if you do that, protect your knuckles. All right, we are ready to get started here. If you're joining us on YouTube, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and make sure you ring the bell so you get notifications whenever our videos pop up. All right, we're gonna warm up with our usual warm up, starting with your arms. Feet hip width apart, just gently swinging your arms from side to side. Get your back moving, loosened up a little bit. Your shoulders a little, bring some energy into your arms. From here, you're gonna start lifting your heel, turning a little further. And do two more to each side. And then we're gonna come in, moving on to our arm circles, nice big rotations forward. And backwards. And then swing them in and out a couple times. Again, just getting everything loose. If you feel any pinching, any tight spots, make note of them. You may need to adjust a little bit during your workout today to take care of your body. From here, we're gonna move on to our hips. So bring the feet a little further out, nice big hip rotations in one direction. And then go the other way. And then we're gonna move on to our side lunges. So starting out nice and small, checking in with those knees and ankles. Go ahead and bring your hands up in guard, start getting into that guard position, elbows in nice and tight, hands up by your chin, shoulders down and relaxed. If everything's feeling good, step out a little further. Beautiful, and if everything's still feeling good, step out even further and do some nice big side lunges. Two more to each side. And then from there, we're gonna move on to our windmills. So bring your feet in, hip width apart, hands out, opposite hand to opposite foot. Starting with your knees bent, warming up the backs of your legs, loosening up those hamstrings. But if everything's feeling good, go ahead and straighten your knees, get a good stretch. One more on each side. And then finishing off with our high knees, starting out with medium knees, just lifting them up, maybe to waist height, maybe a little lower, depending on your flexibility. And then as they start to loosen up, bring them up a little higher each time, and a little higher, and a little higher, and a little higher. The goal being to eventually be able to bring them all the way up to your shoulders. But if you can't, that's okay too. Just work towards as high as you can and then maybe a smidge higher today. Two more on each side. And done, beautiful. All right, we're gonna start out today working on some defensive moves. We're gonna lead everything off of a left jab for this first round. So you're gonna do a left jab and then we're gonna start with a slip. So jab, slip, follow it up, jab, cross, hook, knee. So jab, slip, jab, cross, hook, knee. Here we go, two minutes. Jab, slip, jab, cross, hook, knee. Do it slow a couple times. Make sure you've got the feel for it. And if you miss a punch here and there, no worries. All movement is good movement, as long as it doesn't hurt. So just start over. 
reset, keep going, keep moving. You got this, keep it up. That slip is just a little duck. So you're ducking and turning a little bit, turning your shoulder forward so that a punch would sail right over your shoulder. Jab, slip, jab, cross, hook, knee. Beautiful. Make sure to let your body turn on that hook. You wanna lift your heel, let your body turn, come all the way around. There you go. We're more than halfway there. You got this guys. Keep it up, almost there. And time, nice, march it out, take a deep breath. And now we're gonna stay on this left side. This time we're gonna do a fade. So still leading off that left jab, but instead of slipping to the side, you're gonna fade straight back. If you see it from the side view, I do my jab, fade straight back so that something coming straight at my face just falls a little short. So it's jab, fade, jab, hook, follow that hook up with the rear roundhouse kick. Jab, fade, jab, hook, roundhouse, just like that. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Jab, fade, jab, cross, Sorry, jab, hook, roundhouse kick. Jab, fade, jab, hook, roundhouse. Reset each time. Your body's gonna turn with the hook. You just let it turn and then follow it up with that roundhouse. Keep breathing. And if you mix up the combos, again, no worries. Just keep moving. Your round house can be any height too. Mine's coming up head height. I've been doing this a long time. Yours can come waist height, knee height, or even ankle height, depending on what your hip flexibility is. So make this workout work for you and do what feels good for your body. Thirty seconds to go. That no, that means it's time for that burst of speed. Fast as you can. Making sure you keep your balance on that roundhouse kick. One more like that, fast as you can, and then back to regular speed. And time, beautiful. March it out, that was a good one. Got my breath pumping. My heart pumping, we're moving now. All right, next up, still left foot in front. I'm gonna do an evade. So the slip was to dodge a, pu a punch coming this way. The fade was to dodge a punch coming straight at your nose. The evade is more to dodge a kick. So you just move your foot back. So it's gonna be a jab. Imagine somebody swinging a kick at your leg. You move it back. As you step forward, you're going to cross, hook, uppercut, 
and then finish it off with a big front kick. So it's gonna be jab, evade, cross, hook, front kick. Now this one's a push front kick. So you're bringing your knee up and then like you're stomping with the bottom of your foot. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Jab, evade, cross, hook, front kick. I left out the uppercut. Jab, evade, cross, hook, upper, front kick. There we go. Evade, cross, hook, upper, front kick. Now we got it. Beautiful. Remember to do it a couple times slow. Make sure you've got it. And then you can pick up the pace. Jab, evade, cross, hook, upper. Yeah, beautiful. Keep moving, keep breathing. You're halfway there already. All right, time for that burst of speed. Fast as you can go. Keep breathing. You got it. Keep those hands moving. <laughs> and if you mix it up, again, no worries. Whew. All right, march it out. From here, we're gonna move into working our core a little bit. So we're gonna do hands on our head, left hand or left elbow crunching down to left knee. We're not doing the cross body this time. We're isolating the left side. One minute on the clock for this one. Here we go. So you're just bringing knee and elbow together. We're as close as you can get them. Use this time to work your core, crunch it in nice and tight, but also to take some deep breaths. Let your heart rate slow down a little. The higher you bring your knee, the more you'll work your hip flexor. The lower you bring your elbow, the more you'll work your abs. So you can just change the exercise by changing which movement you focus on, the elbow or the knee. Which one do you want to work more? It's up to you. Almost there. And time. Nice. Swing those arms. Take a couple more deep breaths. Go grab some water. We have two sets to go. All right, guys, bring it back in. From here, we're gonna do right leg in front. We had to do those same combos. So back to the slip. So we got jab, slip, jab, cross, hook, knee. Jab, slip, jab, cross, hook, knee. Two minutes, let's do it. Jab, slip. Jab, cross, hook, knee. Beautiful. Remember to do it slow a couple times because it can feel different on the other side. Even though you know the combo now, it's a little different doing it on the right than it is on the left. 
There you go, you got it. All right, pick up the pace just a little, get a good flow. Keep breathing, you got this. Looking good. All right, time for that burst of speed. Fast as you can go. Even a little faster, you got it. Almost there. And time. March it out. Take a couple deep breaths. And then we're going to stay on that right leg. So right leg in front. Up next, we have our fade. So jab, fade back, jab, hook, rear roundhouse. One more time. Jab, fade back, jab, hook, rear roundhouse. Two minutes on the clock, let's do it. Jab, fade, jab, hook, roundhouse. Remember to reset each time, shoulders down. So you don't wind up with a headache when all this is done. Beautiful, you got it. Letting your body turn, very important. You want that front leg to turn when you do your hook in your roundhouse so you don't suck, torque your knee. Halfway done already. One minute down, one minute to go. All right, time for that burst of speed. Here we go, fast as we can. Keep your eyes forward, your body turns, but you want your gaze staying at your opponent at all times. Even a little faster, you can do it. Two more. And back to regular speed. And time. Nice. March it out. Take a nice deep breath. And then we're still keeping that right leg in front. We have our evade next. So this one was the one where we do our jab, step back, come forward, cross, hook, upper. And we're gonna finish off with that nice big front kick. Jab, evade, cross, hook, upper, front kick. Two minutes. Here we go. Jab, evade. Cross, hook, upper, front kick. Beautiful. Practice it a few times until you have it smooth. 
if it's not smooth, you won't be able to do it fast. Now, something you may notice, when I step back, I'm still keeping my weight on this leg. And then as I step forward, I'm pushing off for that cross. Gets me a lot more power and sets me up into a good position for my other follow-ups. Also lets those three punches at the end come out faster. More than halfway there already. All right, time for that burst of speed. Fast as you can go. Keep it up, you can do it. Your steps may get a little shorter as you're going faster, that's okay. Just keep moving. One more. And then back to regular speed. And time. Nice work. March it out. Take a deep breath. And then we have that one minute of crunches on the other side. So again, hands on your head, this time, right elbow to right knee. Let's do it. Squeeze it in, nice and tight. And take some deep breaths while you're doing it. Slow that heart rate down. Let everything kind of settle because we still have one round to go. Twenty seconds to go. You got this. You might be feeling the burn, that's okay. That just means you're working. And time, beautiful. All right. Swing your arms a little, shake everything loose, grab some water. And then we have our last set. All right, bring it back in guys. For our last set, we're gonna start in a horse stance, a fairly high one, cause you're gonna hold it for two minutes. And we're just doing our six basic punches. So we got straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Nice and steady. Practice a good extension on those jabs, not fully locking it out. You still want a soft bend in your elbow, but as close as you can get to locking it out without actually locking it out. On your hooks, your goal is to bring it past your nose and then stop it short. So you feel all those side muscles engage. Same thing on the other side. Same thing with the uppers, just above your nose, and then stop it short. Beautiful, get a little oomph in it. Add a little power. All right, drop that horse stance down a little lower. You got this. You are halfway there. One minute down, one minute to go, less than a minute now. Keep breathing. All 
All right, for the last 30 seconds, we're just gonna punch it out. Just jabs all the way, go, go, go. Punch it out, keep it up. Move those hands as fast as you can. Sink that horse stance. Keep your weight in your heels, toes lifted a little. Keep punching, almost there. 10 seconds, you can do anything for 10 seconds. A little faster. Keep it up, almost done. And time, nice. March it out, take a deep breath. Beautiful, from here, put that left leg back in front. For this one, we're gonna do a full shield, cross, hook, uppercut, and then we're gonna finish it off with a knee. Gonna get a lot of hip engagement on this one. One more time. Shield, cross, hook, upper, knee. Two minutes, here we go. Shield, cross, hook, upper, knee. Not a job, don't worry about me. You got this. But remember, if you do throw a punch with the wrong hand, it does not even matter because all movement is good movement as long as it doesn't hurt. So you just keep moving. Looking good. All right, we got this. Had a little timer malfunction, that's okay. I'll cut it short. Keep breathing. Halfway done. This is a lot of weight shifting too. So make sure you have your balance. And if your knee doesn't come up as high as mine does, don't even worry about it. You work with the body you have right now and you'll get there eventually. All right, time for that burst of speed. Fast as you can go. And how fast you can go may be faster or slower than me. And that's okay too. Just keep moving. Almost. Two more good ones like that. A little faster. And then back to regular speed. And time. Nice. March it out. Take a couple deep breaths. And then we have to do the other side. So this time we're gonna put our right leg in front. Do that same full shield, cross, hook, upper, rear knee. One more time. Shield, cross, hook, upper, rear knee. Two minutes. Here we go. Shield, cross, hook, upper, knee. Beautiful. Again, talking about that weight shifting. Of course, you shift back for that movement, but then you shift forward for the cross, back for the hook, forward for the upper, and then stay forward for that rear knee. So like I said, it's a lot of weight shifting, which is great for functional fitness as well.
more than a minute down. Keep breathing. Keep coming back to that guard position each time, shoulders down. All right, last burst of speed, here we go. Fast as you can go. Even a little faster, move those hands. And time, nice job, march it out. All right, last exercise. We focused on one side and then the other side. Now we're gonna do cross body, getting the core right in the middle. One minute on the clock. Let's do it. Focus on your twisting motion, bringing your elbow around to the opposite knee. Squeeze in that belly in. You got it, almost there. Take some deep breaths here. Make sure you're breathing well. If this is too much for your hips, you can always do it without the knee raise. And time. All right, grab some water. We have our final stretch and then we are done. All right, bring it back in. Feet hip width apart, starting out with a nice deep breath in. Bring your arms up overhead. We're gonna just stretch to one side. Breathing in again, stretching to the other side. Coming back to center, just a little slight back bend, whatever feels good to your back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna fold all the way forward. And just hang and let gravity help you out here. Keep taking those deep breaths. If you're like me and your glasses always want to fall off here because you're super sweaty, you can go ahead and set them down. And then from here, we're going to roll up nice and slow, rolling our shoulders backwards three times. And then forwards three times. And then we're going to bring one arm across our chest, keeping that shoulder rolled down away from the chin. Turn and look over that shoulder. Now you're just going to make little figure eights with your nose in the air. Nice small movements. Massage those neck muscles a little bit. Two more of those. And then coming back to the center, release. Go to the other side. Again, roll that shoulder down away from your chin. Look over the shoulder. And then little figure eights with your nose, just little movements. You're not straining into it. You just want to massage the neck muscles a little bit.
two more. And then coming back to center, release, swing those arms in and out. And then we're gonna do one more stretch, bringing your front leg, your left leg forward. Let's scoot back so you guys can see my feet. Peel those toes up, and then you're leaning forward until you feel a good stretch through the back of your leg. Wherever that is for you, stop there and take a breath. And then if it feels good, you're gonna reach with your opposite hand to the outside of that foot. Put the other hand on your hip and add a little twist into that stretch. If it doesn't feel good, leave that part off. Release that hand, plant the toe, come up nice and slow. And then we're gonna switch sides. Lift the other foot, peel that toe up. Lean forward until you feel a good stretch through the back of your leg, whatever's good for you. And it may be different than it was on the other side. Now, if it feels good and you wanna add that stretch, opposite hand reaches across to the outside of the shoe or foot. And we just pause here for a moment. And then release back to the center, plant that toe, come up nice and slow. And you guys are done. Fantastic job today. If you enjoyed this video, pop over to functionalbliss.us, our website, see what our other class offerings are, and maybe stop to donate as well. All right, have a great day.